Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Anyway, I, I'm so sorry that uh, many people, thousands of people, were waiting for me to uh, come live and pre pre teach them about Africa power and so on and so forth, especially those that are not watching from Zambia. You are disappointed because I'm talking politics today. You know, it's very important that I help also people politically people that need help next week we are going to continue with our african thing but any moment from now this week i'm going to announce we are going to start our live broadcast politics but take this advice that i've given to you if you are in zambia this is for your good even for the government the government may say ah, see i want to stand against us again what i know it's for your good when there is strong opposition you do well <laughs> if there is nobody opposing you if there is no one giving you advice how are you going to do well so take it also good on your side then from your side you wake up and do the right thing people that fought for you are suffering People that suffered for you, BND, are suffering. Let me tell you again and again. People that fought for you are suffering. Your own members, you BND members, are going through hell. You BND members are dying of hunger. Just your members, not to talk of the, the, the major population of Zambia. If you don't wake up, that's your own concern. I have nothing to lose. I've never lost anything before and I will never lose even if you bring the entire government of the world to fight me it will not succeed it better take my advice and we progress how can you tell me that in the year 2020 2021 Chishimba was dividing the nation of Zambia Chishimbakambi was planting the seed of division in Zambia. Chishimbakambi divided the country into two. Bembas against Tongas. Tongas against Bembas. Chishimbakambi acknowledged his mistake and went to Chief Monse and asked for forgiveness for dividing the nation. He was forgiven. Later, he continued. In fact, before the election, Chishim Bakambiro was a Satan. He was a Lucifer. He was an agent of destruction. He was the devil that de it was, he was the devil himself. He was so bitter. His boys killed a lot of European guys. Chishim Bakambiri with a deed in Awaki and so on kidnapped a family set them up against a church now few years down the line because you have power you think that you are wise a church you think now that you are almighty you decide what happened you you wake up you say oh i'm forgiving this person just because none of your family member that they didn't kill your children they didn't kill your wife you are intact you wake up you want to spend money millions to evacuate Chishimba Kambul. Chishimba Kambul, that is very rich how many tracks that he, does he have 
Is he the only sick person in Zambia? Go around the hospitals in Zambia. UPND supporters are littered in the hospital. They don't have money to buy medicine. Then, as a president, as a government, you want to take Tishim Bakambi, the one that stood against the people, the one that divided the nation, the one that the one that destroyed the nation. You rise up today. You want to take him to go and cure him abroad at the expense of your people. Your people are suffering. Your people do not even have food. They don't even have what to eat. You, you go to all the UPND bloggers, you see that people are going through hell. Two years down the line, no UPND people are suffering. You abandon them. The man that boasted that he can have breakfast in Zambia and have dinner in New York is the one that you want to spend. What happened to you people when you take over power? It's like when you take over power, your brain disappears. Just like when somebody gives their life to Christ, they become fools. They don't reason, they don't reason again. You, they don't they don't the the man of god will tell them anything and they believe the man of god will say give me your entire salary in january you believe you don't reason you don't ask yourself what is my children going to eat if i give you my entire salary it's what happened when you take over that seat you become fools look at a man that nearly set zambia on fire if you want to do something good for him it's it's a, it's, it's a convict you can pardon him he has money he can go and treat himself abroad why do you want to waste government money a government that is struggling a government that is limping you still have money to go and take the back and outside the country i what is wrong you provoke me intentionally there are people there are people two years down the line I don't want to go, I don't want to fight UPND. You can see that I'm diplomatic in what I'm doing. If I, if I go there, if I go there, UPND, it will take only about one month, it will collapse. People's eye will open. I don't want to go there now. But how can you abandon the people that fought for your party? Your members. They can't even afford milimi twice in a day. They don't eat. Many of them are, are languishing in the streets. You carry millions to go and take Tishemba Kambuil. To go and have treatment outside the country. Who is he? He's rich. He said he has tracks in Congo. That's why poor people, you on your own. When I tell you to become rich, do everything possible to become rich. You think that ah, see, I want is forcing you. You want to seek first the kingdom of God and you want to die poor, my dear. If you are poor, there is no justice for you. Rich people don't care about you. Rich people don't. They, you don't exist where they are. If not, tell me how can how can how can Chishimba Kambiri who who claim to be rich he drives the latest Lexus he open his mouth and say he has contracts running in Congo contracts are running in Congo for him his children are abroad his wife is abroad he can afford any life that he wants people are dying on the street and the president want to take money to go and send him abroad. At the expense of poor people. That money you want to spend on Chishim Bakambri, give it to your members. If you don't know, your members are suffering. How many times have you visited your secretariat? There is no food in your secretariat. Nobody go to your secretariat. Don't provoke me. Please. I don't want to go. I don't. If look, if you go there, you will never last. You cannot even finish your tenure. I swore upon God Father. Don't do these things. People are suffering. What are you talking about? People are suffering. People are going through hell. And you want to send Tishim Bakambuira abroad for medication. Sylvia Masobo is a useless human being. She's a fool. I told you people, that woman. Please. Hey. <laughs> this thing that you want to start. Ask Eddie Galungu. Ask 
ask Eji Galungu, ask Boma Lusambo. They will tell you that crossing the path of Sia One is the greatest mistake that you can make. We are going to. Please don't go there. Don't go there. There are people that need help in Zambia. There are a lot of them. If you have a lot of money in the government, start taking care of your members. The other day, Lili Mutambo, who contested, who wanted to contest on the UPND ticket, bought Mili Mill. I don't know if it's 10 bucks or 20 bucks, and took it to UPND Secretariat. If you see the way the people there rushed the Mili Mill. <laughs> I was looking at it and said, is these people are they cadres of the ruling party? Chishimba Kamburi is supposed to be in prison as we speak today. But if you go to so many prisons today, you will see UPND cadres who are in prison for not doing anything. Many of them are still going to court for doing absolutely nothing. Please, let's not start this thing. I, I beg you in the name of God, Father. I still have a soft spot for you. When that spot goes, ask Eddie Galongi, he will tell you. You will know. Everywhere will be hot for you. I don't want to start that. Do the right thing. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.